Cross pass inside for Hill. Oh, no. Straight away for Hill, back down inside. Boy, how many times have we seen that play over the years? And Hill for Emily Bermonti on the drive, all the way through. Got two. By two, final minute of this opening quarter. Gonzalez driving on a nice push inside. Now for Colleen Bouchard, back down inside. The scoop is... Three ball, bottom of the wall that time for Emily Bermonti, who now has nine points. Kelly, driving to the basket, got two. Good job by Kelly, using her body to get to the glass. Thompson. Now a three ball, thrown in by Kylie Bouchard. And the Falcons go back up three. Right down inside, Keila Raymond got the good bounce. Falcons by four. Bermonti. Drops it off. Oh, that's pretty. That's an easy two. And not a good pass inside. Taken away. And back from the Falcons. Obar inside. And there's two. Now Bermonti drives and gets two. Outside here will try it. Rebound, throw back up, and score the basket. Go oh, right into the hands of Kayla Raymond. Some easy baskets to get you confidence. Now there's Mia Kelly right there. Is she listening? Yeah, hey. Trying to go to Glidden, wasn't there. Now Thornton driving and scores. Nice job. Take it to the Final score, game one of our doubleheader, the Bentley Falcons, 62. The Stonehill Skyhawks, 51. Um, We're definitely... <laughs> The beginning of a young season, I would say, for sure. Um, you know, and it's just, we're, we're a team that you can tell hasn't played in a year and a half. And um, we're just finding our way. And unfortunately, we've had some injuries and stuff that have held us back in terms of being really physically ready to play. And, you know, we, we've had some injuries that are making our bench shorter. So, um, yeah, I... As disappointing as these two losses are, I, I definitely understand them, and I definitely know that we're going to get a lot better. Right. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I, I thought we started the game really strong. I thought the, the kids did a great job in terms of understanding what we were trying to do defensively, and, and you know, we neither team was scoring a lot of points, which both of our teams we know that can score a lot of points. So um, I was pretty happy with the first half, but... You know, we just we're 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 not deep enough to to get that rotation that needs to happen right now, and we're also just kind of finding the chemistry. You know, Kayla's just getting back into the rotation. You know, she had been out for for a few weeks, and um, you know, her getting back into playing full with these guys, and just in terms of our depth at the guard spot too, is is definitely been an issue like you know Mia and Emily are doing a great job they're playing 40 minutes but you know I think both of them need you know a little bit of a break to to refresh and and you could see that tonight after you know a, a tough loss on Sunday and trying to prepare quickly for this game too you know that makes a difference and you could see that well. she is and and Em's doing a great job and had you know had such a great offensive performance on on Saturday up at St. Mike's um but she's she is she's that veteran point guard that you need that leader that's that's going to you know understand you know how to push and flow and who to get the ball to and she's doing all those things and scoring well like not tonight but um Saturday for sure hmm. so you know certainly need her senior presence at the point and Mia was just I mean she was so impressive on Saturday up at St. Mike's just and and using her athleticism like we know she could you know just making hustle plays keeping the ball alive you know offensive rebounds you know you saw it tonight she can get to the rim and yeah. and you know we're hoping that you know she continues to build that confidence that we're seeing because you know she's she's really hard to guard and she also is such a great athlete that can be a great defensive force for us. So, you know, I think she's just going to get better and better. So that's that's a really exciting. Both of those, like you said, both of those players are um, going to do great things, I think, throughout the year. The break, yes, I think will be perfect right now. Um, everybody needs to, you know, 
just take a deep breath, obviously, with um, with the news that we got on Saturday about Sophie Glidden's dad, Bruce. Um, you know, that's taken a toll as well. And, you know, I think that we all need a little bit of um, reflection time. And, you know, obviously our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to the Glidden's. But um, I think this break is, is coming at a good time. And, you know... Uh, what we talked about in the locker room after the game was just we're going to get better. We're, we've just got to stay committed to the hard work and the the fixes that it takes to to be a better team the next time you get on the court. And I, and I have no doubt that this is the team that that will come back and be refreshed and and have a, a, the the same focus. So we're we're encouraged by that.